In this video, you will learn about object detection. In particular, one, sliding windows, two, bounding box, three, bounding box pipeline, four, score. Image classification predicts the class of an object in an image. Classification and object localization locate the presence of an object and indicate the location with a bounding box. Object detection locates multiple objects with a bounding box and their classes. In object detection problems, we generally have to find all the possible objects in the image. To achieve this, we use an algorithm known as sliding window detection. If we want to detect a dog, we consider a fixed window size. If chosen properly, the dog will occupy most of the window. This is essentially a sub-image that we would like to classify as a dog. The other sub-images would be classified as background. Each image that does not contain the dog would be considered a background class. The sliding window algorithm is a more systematic approach. We start in one region of the image, classify that sub-image. We then shift the window and classify the next sub-image. We repeat the process. When we get to the horizontal border, we move a few pixels down in the vertical direction and repeat the process. When the object occupies most of the window, it will be classified as a dog. But in addition to the problems with classification, there are additional problems specific to object detection. Object detectors often output many overlapping detections. We also have the issue of object sizes, where the same object can come in different sizes. One way to solve this is to reshape the image. The same object can have different shapes. Again, reshaping or resizing the image is one solution. We also have the problem of overlapping objects in pictures, so as such this may pose issues to the sliding windows. Bounding boxes is another method for object detection. It can be used independently with sliding windows or with other more advanced methods. The bounding box is a rectangular box that can be determined with the lower right corner of the rectangle with coordinates y0 and x0 and the width and height. The y and x are not the same as the classification labels y and the image x, so we will color them blue. It can also be determined by the coordinates in the upper left corner, y-min and x-min, and the lower right corner, the x-max and y-max. Remember, these are not the labels and the image. They are just to illustrate the coordinates of the bounding box we will call box. Let's do an example. The coordinates in the upper left corner is given by 0, 1, and the lower right corner is 7, 8. The goal of object detection is to predict these points, so we add a hat to indicate it's a prediction. The bounding box pipeline. Like classification, we have the class Y and X. We also have the bounding box. Just like classification, we have a data set of classes and their bounding boxes. Similar to classification, we use the data set to train the model. We include the box coordinates. The result is an object detector with updated learning parameters. We will discuss the specific models and training later. We input the image with the objects we would like to detect. We have the predicted class and the box coordinates, in this case, a dog. We also have the predicted class cat and the box coordinates. The predicted class bird and box coordinates. And another class predicted as bird and the box coordinates. Many object detection algorithms provide a score, letting you know how confident the model prediction is. Each column in the table has an image and its prediction. The first row is the score ranging from 0 to 1. The second row is the class. And the third row is the image and its bounding box. For the first row, we see the prediction is dog, but the image does not look like a dog. As a result, the score is low, 0.5. This means the model is not confident about its prediction. For the second row, we see the prediction is dog, and the image looks like a dog. As a result, the score is 0.99 in this case. The model is confident about its prediction. For each detection, a score is provided. We can adjust so we only accept detections above a specific score. 
Here we have detected one dog and two cats. It looks like we detected both a cat and a dog in the dog's location. Examining the score, we see that one of the cat predictions has a low score of 0 0.5. If we only accept scores above 0 0.9, we correctly detect the cat and dog. Usually, models will only output objects over a specific threshold.